you too. We back with another banger, as you see by the thumbnail and title. Today we got a good video for y'all. Doing a barber setup, 2024 best setup of the year for a teen barber. Let's see. We're about to um go drop off some heme packages. I to come back to the shop and show y'all all around the shop. I'm gonna show y'all all my products. I'm gonna show y'all how everything's set up. I'm gonna show y'all all my clippers. I'm gonna show y'all all my cabinets. I'm gonna show y'all everything. You know, and I'm gonna show y'all my last setup too, just so you could compare contrast. That if you're starting right now, if you're starting from nothing, don't worry, bro. You always can make something out of nothing. It's all up to you though. If you believe in yourself, you're gonna easily do it. If you don't believe in yourself, you probably won't do it or it's gonna be harder to do it. It's all about believing in yourself. I started this not on some, oh, I wanna be a barber to get money. I started this by having clippers in front of my face and my little kid brain just wanted to try it out. And it went from trying something out to ending up, could be a whole career. You wanna try new things in life, always. You never know what you could like, you never know what you don't like. So it's always good to try new things, get out your comfort zone, you know, be him, and uh, keep life pushing at all times. About to get this shit done, maybe go get a little Starbucks or something, and then I'm gonna catch out the shop, see what's up. Back in the lab chat, let me show y'all around. You feel me? Come through, come through over here. All right, let's start off with one of the most important things, which is your actual setup, you know, your desk that you're working on. Right here, I got my Husky, nice cabinet with all my stuff. I've been having this Husky for like two years, it's been doing me great. Haven't had no problems with it. Everything's still smooth and clean. Cabinets are still sliding nice and smooth. But look, this is how we working right here, okay, chat? Just got done with a full day of cutting. Did like 10 to 12 haircuts. And I just cleaned up the setup real quick because I had to show y'all what's up. We come to all our accessories that we got on the wall. You know, we got that cool care. Always got to have that cool care on you. Keep the clippers clean at all times. And then right here, we got our paint. I got two of these actually. I got a dark brown and I got a black. Over here, we got a brand new Heme aftershave cologne. If y'all want the best smelling aftershave, go to the link in bio. We got this in blue and we got this in green. And we got the Heme styling powder. This is where the magic happens. You always need a styling powder on your setup. Like this is a go-to right here for all the straight hair clients that need that texture. I'm putting y'all on, use code JV for 20% off, jvcuz.com. And we got one more Heme product you already know. I gotta have this on my station, the Heme anti frizz. Telling y'all, my clients with curls love this product. And I mean, it's not even just the product, it's the smell, it's the feel. It's just how it, bro, it's literally Heme. And then these are my two other magic workers right here. The glued is literally just hairspray, good ass hairspray. And then we got Volumania, which is basically a quick volumizer. You know, it's like, if I don't wanna use the powder, it's like another hairspray, I just spray and it creates good volume you always got to have the neck brush on you put some talc on there and then brush the clients off i do have my air hose over here so this is what i be using most of the time i don't even use the neck brush sometimes and for clippers this is what we use chat we got the babyliss fx this one is kind of on life support but i mean i did just get a new blade for it i mean it's seen better days for sure i put all my clippers to work every day you know shout out to my tools you have to invest into the best tools if you want to be the best right here we got the saber this one goes crazy too. Having it for like one or two years and no problems, straight hitters. Then over here, we got the Fabulous FX Snap-on Trimmers. These are honestly clutch all the time because if they die, just take off the battery, put it over here, get another one, boom. And then battery fully charged again. And then same thing with the clipper. You know, we got the twins. This is why I really like these. These are clutch because you know, sometimes I don't got the time to be charging the clippers all the time. So when you got this extra batteries like that, that should come in clutch. I got my style crafts over here because you could never go wrong with a pair of Insties. These are beat up. Look at the color fading off and stuff. The levers all gone. But these, they don't miss. It don't matter how they look. They don't miss. Like they still sound baby smooth. Even though I did have to get another pair because they did have like some, you know, like the other ones did have some issues. I did have to get another pair, but shits are still hitting. And then... You know, to have a variety in the arsenal, we got the JRL Onyx 2024 right here. This one, once again, another great clipper. Hey, look at that, five hours. Like, you fully charge this, you get five hours, guys. Sometimes I don't even need to charge this clipper for a whole week or two, and it's still working. Over here, we got the Babyliss FX3 shavers. We got the two-in-one color. We got the black and red. Look at that. These are hitters right here. By far, the best shavers that I've tried out so far. We're gonna put these over here now and charge them up. And you can't forget the babies. 
you know and last but not least we got the little uno 2.0s as you see all my clippers are low-key beat up like I, I put my tools to use i don't just buy these tools and keep them pretty i try and use my tools as much as i can make the job easier make life easier make more money that's what these tools are for I got one, two, three, four, five, Nine, six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Damn, it's in my bank account. I got this magnetic mat too, which just helps me stick my clippers. I just literally grab and go, grab and go. Boom. Got this one. It really just helps me out because I could like kind of, I could like kind of throw them. You know what I mean? I don't recommend to do this, but it just makes me quicker. I could grab my clippers quicker and then they're not like all right here and just wasting space this little tray i just keep all my cones my clips my extra brushes my grips you know all the extra little stuff that just fits in there over here we got the fan we got the speaker we got this little thing right here that holds my combs we got the candy that everyone loves we got the lysol to always keep it clean also i got the dyson blow dryer right here jv cuts edition so this is what we're working with right here you know what i mean come over here we got our price chart we got our little closet we got the little sticker. We got our seating spot for all the clients to sit down. We got the chair right here that does all the work. Chair. Over here, we got the Heem shirts. Always got to have our merch on show. You always got to promote your brand. You got to let people know what's up. Always let your clients know your prices. I got these three LED strips right here. This is what gives me all the light I need. This is where we cook up, Chad. This is where Rick and Morty gets down in the lab. I don't know about y'all, but this is all I need and I'll make it work. It could always be better. Things could always be better, but it's about the process, guys. Right now I'm in the process. I wanna make a shop in the future. You know, not anytime soon, but in the future, I definitely wanna have my own business, my own barber shop, where I have my own barbers. I think that's cool enough. So. Which I rate the setup though, you know? We got some good clippers on here. I ain't gonna cap. Like I've tried out most of the clippers and these are my favorite right here. The JRLs, the Sabres, the FX3 shavers. The FX trimmer, you're never gonna go wrong with it, especially with that gold FX blade. Shit never misses. If y'all are new to the game and you want a quick combo, I'm gonna put you on. Get yourself a Stylecraft Instinct, get yourself a Babyliss FX trimmer, and then just get yourself the FX3 shaver. That's all you need. If you need some clippers for bulking or like fast knocking off the hair, get these or the Jero. This hot goes down every day. We walk in here, see the setup, we get ready, we pray to God, and we get to working, we get our money, we keep it pushing at all time. Don't be one of those that just wanna celebrate, don't wanna grind. We all got shit to do. We all got problems in life. We all got issues. We all got our own things that we gotta deal with. We all gotta pay dues. We all gotta pay the fine, okay? But don't let that be your excuse to why you're not great, to why you're not successful, to why you're not in a better position for yourself. Don't be that person that just makes excuses, okay? Make it work. As long as you put your mind to it and you actually want to do it. If you have that doubt in the back of your head, you're not going to do it. Never doubt yourself. Always have faith. Keep your faith in God. Keep your faith in yourself. They don't want us to go up, but we still going to prevail. God did. If y'all like the setup, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the setup, give me a thumbs up. 2024 Barber Setup. JV Cuts. All right, y'all. Different day. Your boy JV Cuts. For we keep talking. I just wanted to show y'all something real quick, man. Something that's, something that we started from, you know what I mean? And I'm talking about my barbershop when I first started cutting hair. If you're an OG and you've seen my videos since I was 12 years old, when I started cutting hair, and I started cutting hair in this little little trailer right here. I'm put the video right here. Go watch it, go watch it. I was just 12 years old. This was my first barber setup. I mean, I just painted it too because we're gonna get rid of it. We don't want this here no more. The only OGs remember, bro. Literally right here. Shot my thumbnail right here. I shot all my videos. This shit's beat up now, low key though, because I don't know what the fuck happened in here, but this was literally the shop. It's crazy. I'm too big for this now. My head be hitting the roof. That's why I had to get out of here. But I used to be right here, bro. Literally, barber setup right here. My light, boom, turn on the switch. Lights, my little husky right there. Chair right there. Boom, 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 boom have the cussies wedding right there it really goes from nothing to something so if you guys are a beginning barber right now and you guys have a little setup you're doing good just keep going don't stop and watch you're gonna go into way better i really used to have all my stuff in here if y'all haven't already i need y'all to go watch that video go watch some videos when i was in here cutting up that was just a whole different era a whole different lifestyle the memories it brings is crazy 
because I dad used to be here 24 seven. I would come home from middle school, go straight here, record, cut hair. And honestly, I would just live in here to be honest. This was literally my little house because I dedicated all my time to the craft. And at the end of the day, it turned out into something great. We got the old barbershop right here. This is where we started from. We started from nothing. Just cutting hair. People used to hate on the kid for the videos. Now we got a whole JV hauling. Now we got the beam. We got the bigger and better shop. All glory to God. And this is still just the beginning. There's more things coming in the future. Only 18 years old. I plan on opening my shop by 21. So let the kid do his thing. Just let the kid cook, you know? And I'm gonna cook up a good five-star gourmet plate. You feel me? Cause that's just how I'm feeling today. It just goes to show right there, guys, that you can start from nothing and create an empire. You could create something way bigger from nothing. It's just all up to you. How much power you have in between yourself, how much vision you have, how hungry you are for it. You have to be hungry for it, brother. If not, all these imaginations, all these goals, all these things are not gonna be happening. You're not gonna have these thoughts of elevating yourself. First, focus on yourself. Focus on what you wanna achieve. Seek your purpose with a plan. Write down the plan, write down the plays, and go for that Hail Mary. You feel me? Just like that. JV cuts, we out. And that is it, guys, for today's video. Um, My first video was yesterday, so go check that video out. And I'm barely starting, so yeah, and peace. I ain't gotta cut in two weeks. JV line me up. If I hear there's money in the play, you need to sign me up.